John Roger Stevens, born December 28, 1978, known professionally as John Legend, is an American singer, songwriter, pianist, record producer, and actor. He began his musical career working behind the scenes for other artists, playing piano on Lauryn Hill's Everything Is Everything, and performing as an uncredited backing vocalist on Jay-Z Songcore and Alicia Keys' You Don't Know My Name. He was the first artist to sign with Kanye West's Good Music, through which he released his debut studio album, Get Lifted, 2004. The album reached the top 10 of the Billboard 200, received double platinum certification by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA, and spawned his first hit song, Ordinary People. Legend won three Grammy Awards from eight nominations at the 48th Annual Grammy Awards, Dash Ordinary People won Best Male R&B Vocal Performance, Get Lifted won Best R&B Album, and Legend won Best New Artist. The album's follow-up single, So High, remixed with Lauryn Hill, was nominated for Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals. His second album, Once Again, 2006, was met with continued success, supported by the lead single, Save Room. His third album, Evolver, 2008, further diversified his artistry with other genres, its funk-inspired lead single, Green Light, featuring Andre 3000, peaked within the top 30 of the Billboard Hot 100 and received double platinum certification by the RIAA. That same year, Legend released the live album, John Legend, Live from Philadelphia, 2008, followed by his collaborative album, Wake Up. 2010, with Philadelphia-based hip-hop band The Roots. Legend's fourth studio album, Love in the Future, 2013, was preceded by the hit single, All of Me. The pop ballad saw his furthest commercial success as it peaked atop the Billboard Hot 100, spent 23 consecutive weeks in the chart's top 10, and received a diamond, 14 times platinum, certification by the RIAA. In 2015, he co-performed with Megan Trainer on her single, Like I'm Gonna Lose You, which peaked at number 7 on the chart. The following year, he released his fifth album Darkness and Light, 2016, and departed from good music. Legend has since released A Legendary Christmas, 2018, Bigger Love, 2020, which won the Grammy Award for Best R&B Album and his ninth album, Legend, 2022. Throughout his musical career, Legend has received a total of 12 Grammy Awards. In 2007, he won the Hal David Starlight Award from the Songwriters Hall of Fame, Legend won the Academy Award for Best Original Song and Golden Globe Award for his 2015 single Glory with Common, which was released for the film Selma. He won the NAACP's President's Award in 2016. In Broadway acting, Legend won a Tony Award for co-producing the stage play Jitney, 2017, and portrayed the titular character in NBC's adaptation of the rock opera Jesus Christ Superstar, 2018. He received a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for his acting role, and won the award for his role as a producer of the show, making him the first black male and second youngest recipient of all four of the major American entertainment awards, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, EGOT, in 2018. Legend also has served as a vocal coach for the reality competition series The Voice from its 16th season to its 22nd season, and again from its 24th season to its 25th season, he became the show's senior coach following Blake Shelton's 2023 departure. Early life and education John Roger Stevens was born on December 28, 1978, in Springfield, Ohio. He is the eldest of four children, of Phyllis Elaine, née Lloyd, a seamstress, and Ronald Lamar Stevens, a factory worker at International Harvester. His father was a drummer, while his mother sang and directed the church choir, and his grandmother was the church organist. In 2004, Legend stated that his parents were divorced for 12 years before reuniting. Legend was homeschooled by his mother. He began playing the piano at age four. At the age of seven, he performed with his church choir. Because of his academic talent, he skipped two grades. At the age of 12, Legend entered North High School in Springfield, Ohio, and graduated as salutatorian. At the age of 15, Legend won a Black History Month essay competition sponsored by McDonald's, following the prompt, How Do You Intend to Make Black History, 
with an essay about how he intended to be a successful musician, according to an interview on The Carlos Watson Show. At the age of 16, he enrolled at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, where he served as the president and musical director of the co-ed jazz and pop a cappella group The Counterparts. His lead vocals on the group's recording of Joan Osborne's One of Us, written by fellow University of Pennsylvania alum Eric Bazilian of the Hooters, received critical acclaim, landing the song on the track list of the 1998 Best of Collegiate a Cappella Compilation CD. Legend was also a member of the Sphinx Senior Society, one of Penn's undergraduate senior societies, and Onyx Senior Honor Society. While at Penn, Legend was introduced to Lauren Hill by a friend. Hill hired him to play piano on Everything is Everything, a song from her album The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. He graduated magna cum laude with a bachelor's degree in English with an emphasis on African-American literature, in 1999. Career career beginnings after graduating from the University of Pennsylvania, Legend worked as a management consultant at the Boston Consulting Group, BCG, and began producing, writing, and recording his own music. He released two albums independently, his self-titled Demo, 2000, and Live at Jimmy's Uptown, 2001, which he sold at his shows. He subsequently began working on his demo and began sending his work to various record labels. In 2001, Devo Springsteen introduced Legend to Kanye West, then an up-and-coming hip-hop artist, Legend was hired to sing during the hooks of West's music. After signing to West's label, he chose his stage name from an idea that was given to him by poet J. Ivy, due to what he perceived as an old-school sound. J. Ivy stated, I heard your music and it reminds me of that music from the old school. You sound like one of the legends. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to call you from now on. I'm going to call you John Legend. After J. Ivy continued to call him by the new moniker, John Legend, others quickly caught on, including Kanye West. Despite Stevens' reluctance to adopt a stage name, he eventually announced his new artist name as John Legend. 2004-2007, debut album and Grammy Award legend released his debut album, Get Lifted, on Good Music in December 2004. It featured production by Kanye West, Dave Tozer, and Will I Am, and debuted at number 7 on the U.S. Billboard 200, selling 116,000 copies in its first week. It went on to sell 540,300 copies in the United States and was certified gold by the RIAA. An international success, Get Lifted also reached number one on the Norwegian Albums Chart and peaked within the top ten in the Netherlands and Sweden, resulting in worldwide sales of 850,000 copies. Critically acclaimed, it won the 2006 Grammy Award for Best R&B Album, and earned Legend another two nominal awards for Best New Artist and Best Male R&B Vocal Performance. Altogether, the album produced four singles, including debut single Used to Love You, which entered the top 30 of the New Zealand and UK singles chart, and Grammy Award-winning Ordinary People, which peaked at 24 on the Billboard Hot 100. Legend also co-wrote Janet Jackson's I Want You, which was certified platinum and received a nomination for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance at the 47th Annual Grammy Awards. Legend was featured on several records in the following years. He appeared on albums by Fort Minor, Sergio Mendez, Jay-Z, Mary J. Blige, The Black Eyed Peas, Stephen Colbert, Rich Boy, Jillian MSTRKRFT, Chemistry, and Fergie, among others. Legend also tentatively worked with Michael Jackson on a future album for which he had written one song. In August 2006, Legend appeared in an episode of Sesame Street. He performed a song entitled It Feels Good When You Sing a Song, a duet with Hoots the Owl. He also performed during the pregame show of Super Bowl XL in Detroit and the halftime show at the 2006 NBA All-Star Game. In October 2006, Legend's second album, Once Again, was released. Legend co-wrote and co-produced the bulk of the album, which saw him re-teaming with West and Will I Am, but also spawned production from Raphael Sadiq, Craig Street, Saare, Eric Hudson, Devo Springsteen, Dave Tozer, and Avenue. Released to major commercial success, it reached number 3 on the Billboard 200 and debuted on top of the top R&B slash hip-hop albums chart. It was eventually certified platinum by the RIAA and reached gold status in Italy, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. At the 2007 Grammy Awards ceremony, 
the song Heaven was awarded the Grammy Award for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance, while lead single Save Room received a nod in the Best Male Pop Vocal category. Legend won a second Grammy that year for Family Affair, a collaboration with Sly and the Family Stone, Joss Stone, and Van Hunt, for the former's Different Strokes by Different Folks album. 2008-2010, Evolver Legend performing at the Tower Theater in Upper Darby Township, Pennsylvania in 2009 in January 2008, Legend sang in a video for Barack Obama, produced by Will I Am Called Yes We Can, duh. The same year, Legend had a supporting, singing-only role in the 2008 movie Soul Men, where he plays the deceased lead singer of a fictitious soul group that includes Samuel L. Jackson and Bernie Mac. In October, he released his third studio album, Evolver, speaking about the reasons for calling the album Evolver, he stated, I think people sometimes come to expect certain things from certain artists. They expect you to kind of stay in the same place you were at when you started out. Whereas I feel I want my career to be defined by the fact that I'm not going to stay in the same place, and that I'm always going to try new things and experiment. So, as I think this album represents a manifestation of that, I came up with the title Evolver. The album was preceded by dance pop influenced up tempo single Green Light, which featured rapper Andre 3000 of Outkast and became his highest charting single since Ordinary People. It was also nominated for the Grammy Award for Best Rap Slash Sung Collaboration. On March 30, 2008, Legend performed America the Beautiful in front of a sold out crowd of 74,635 in the Orlando Citrus Bowl, now known as Camping World Stadium for WWE's WrestleMania's If. In 2009, Legend performed in The People Speak, a documentary feature film that uses dramatic and musical performances of the letters, diaries, and speeches of everyday Americans, based on historian Howard Zinn's A People's History of the United States. Also in 2009, Legend and The Roots teamed up to record a collaborative album, Wake Up, which was released on September 21, 2010. The first single released from the album was Wake Up Everybody featuring singer Melanie Fiona and rapper Common. In November 2010, Legend was featured on West's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy album, listed a feature on the song Blame Game. In February 2011, Legend won three prizes at the 53rd Annual Grammy Music Awards. He was awarded Best R&B Song for Shine, while he and The Roots won Grammy Awards for Best R&B Album and Best Traditional R&B Vocal Performance for Hang On In There. In March 2011, Legend and The Roots won two NAACP Image Awards, one for Outstanding Album, Wake Up, and one for Outstanding Duo, Group, or Collaboration. 2011-2015, Federal Lawsuit and 50-Date Tour Legend at the City Presence, Evenings with Legends show in 2014 on July 5th, 2011, songwriter Anthony Stokes filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against Legend in the United States District Court for the District of New Jersey, alleging that Legend's song, Maxine's Interlude, from his 2006 album once again derives from Stokes' demo, Where Are You Now? Duh. Stokes claimed he gave Legend a demo of the song in 2004 following a concert at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Legend denied the allegations, telling E. Online, I never heard of his song until he sued me. I would never steal anyone's song. We will fight it in court and we will prevail. However, nearly 60,000 people took a TMZ.com poll that compared the two songs and 65% of voters believed that Legend's Maxine's Interlude is a ripoff of Stokes, Where Are You Now? A year later, Legend confirmed that he settled out of court with Stokes for an undisclosed amount. Also in 2011, Legend completed a 50-date tour as a guest for British soul band Sod. In the San Diego performance, Legend confirmed that he was working on his next studio album and played a new song called Dreams. Later, via his official website, he revealed the official title of the album to be Love in the Future, and debuted part of a new track called Caught Up. The album has been executive produced by Legend himself, along with Kanye West and Dave Tozer, the same team who worked on Legend's previous albums Get Lifted, Once Again, and Evolver. Legend has stated that his intention for the record was to make a modern soul album, to flip that classic feel into a modern context. Legend was granted an honorary doctorate degree from Howard University at the 144th Commencement Exercises on Saturday, May 12, 2012, 
Legend was a judge on the ABC music show duets along with Kelly Clarkson, Jennifer Nettles, and Robin Thicke. Legend's spot was originally for Lionel Richie, who had to leave the show due to a scheduling conflict. Duets debuted on Thursday, May 24, 2012. He released his fourth studio album, Love in the Future, on September 3, 2013, debuting number four on the Billboard 200, selling 68,000 copies in its first week. The album was nominated for Best R&B Album at the 2014 Grammy Awards. Legend's third single from the album, All of Me, became an international chart success, peaking at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for three consecutive weeks and reaching the top of six national charts and the top. 10 in numerous other countries, becoming one of the best-selling digital singles of all time. It was ranked the third best-selling song in the United States and the United Kingdom during 2014. The song is a ballad dedicated to his wife, Chrissy Teigen, and was performed at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards. In 2014, Legend partnered with the rapper Common to write the song Glory, featured in the film Selma which chronicled the 1965 Selma to Montgomery marches. The song won the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song as well as the Academy Award for Best Original Song. Legend and Common performed Glory at the 87th Academy Awards on February 22, 2015. Legend was featured on Megan Trainor's Like I'm Gonna Lose You from her debut studio album, which reached number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100. On February 1, 2015, he sang America the Beautiful in the opening ceremony of Super Bowl XLIX. He provided guest vocals on Kelly Clarkson's song Run 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 for her album Piece by Piece. He also co-wrote and provided vocals for French DJ David Guetta's song Listen, as part of the album Listen. 2016, present, Resurgence Legend released his new album Darkness and Light, with first single Love Me Now on December 2, 2016, with songs featuring Chance the Rapper and Miguel. Legend featured on Kygo's song, Happy Birthday, for his debut studio album, Cloud Nine, released in 2016. For the 2017 film Beauty and the Beast, Legend and Ariana Grande performed a duet on the title track, a remake of the 1991 original version sung by Celine Dion and Peebo Bryson, in April 2017, Crow. The Legend, a short animation film, premiered its prologue at the Tribeca Film Festival. Legend was cast in the title role as the character Crow. He also served as executive producer for the project and performed the original song, When You Can Fly, duh. The film won at 13 different film festivals including the LA Film Festival, where it made its North American premiere in 2018. The film won Best Animation VR Experience at the 2018 Raindance Film Festival and received nomination for Best Virtual Reality Production at the 46th Annual Annie Awards. On December 19, 2017, NBC announced that Legend had been cast in the title role in the live concert production of Jesus Christ Superstar at the Marcy Avenue Armory in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. The production was broadcast live on NBC television on April 1, 2018 the date of Easter Sunday that year in Western Christianity, dot. On May 8, 2018, Google chose Legend as one of the six new Google Assistant voices. Legend during an interview in 2019 Legend was one of the few celebrities to appear and speak out in the Lifetime documentary Surviving R. Kelly. The six-part docuseries details sex abuse allegations spread over four decades against acclaimed R&B singer R. Kelly. It focuses on women who allege that the musician and record producer used his status and influence to sexually and physically abuse women and young girls for decades. Legend lambasted R. Kelly during his interview in the final episode of the series, asserting that R. Kelly has brought so much pain to so many people. Time's up for R. Kelly. In spite of numerous public allegations and controversies regarding Kelly, Legend stood as the only major recording artist willing to come forward and speak against him in the documentary. In response to fans who labeled him as brave for his actions, Legend stated the following on Twitter ahead of the program's debut, Frowny Face, to everyone telling me how courageous I am for appearing in the doc, it didn't feel risky at all. I believe these women and don't give a fuck about protecting a serial child rapist. Easy decision. Executive producer Dream Hampton revealed that it was incredibly difficult to get men and women who had artistically collaborated with Kelly to come forward, 
including those who had criticized him. During an interview with Detroit Free Press, she said, We asked Lady Gaga. We asked Erica Badu. We asked Celine Dion. We asked Jay-Z. We asked Dave Chappelle. There, people who have been critical of him. That makes John Legend even more of a hero for me. On May 21, 2019, Legend was the winning coach on The Voice, and won the competition with his artist Malin Jarman. In November, Legend was named People's Sexiest Man Alive. In 2020, Legend was working on a seventh album. On May 13, 2020, he announced the album would be titled Bigger Love. It was released on June 19. On May 28, 2020, Legend received an honorary doctorate from Berklee College of Music. Legend is featured on Carrie Underwood's Christmas album My Gift. Legend wrote his featured track entitled Hallelujah. Legend was among the performers in the Celebrating America television event held on Inauguration Day 2021. He delivered the commencement address to the Duke University class of 2021. On November 12, 2021, Legend signed with Republic Records after completing the contract that lasted for 17 years with Sony Music. In February 2022, Legend launched the music-based NFT platform, Our Song, on April 3, 2022, performed a new song called Free at the 64th Annual Grammy Awards as a tribute to the fallen citizens of Ukraine amid Russo-Ukrainian war. He was joined on stage alongside by three Ukrainian female artists Susanna Igladin, Mika Newtown, and poet Luba Yakimchuk. On September 9, 2022, he released his eighth studio album titled Legend. The following month, Legend became The Voice's senior coach in its 24th season after the departure of singer Blake Shelton. Philanthropy Legend performed a benefit concert in Springfield, Ohio in 2005 in support of a tax levy for the Springfield City School District. In May 2007, Legend partnered with Tide Laundry Detergent to raise awareness about the need of families in St. Bernard Parish, Chalmette, Louisiana, one of the areas most devastated by Hurricane Katrina. He spent a day folding laundry at the Tide Clean Start mobile laundromat and visited homes that Tide was helping to rebuild in that community. On July 7, 2007, Legend participated in the Live Earth concert in London, performing Ordinary People. After reading Professor Jeffrey Sachs' book The End of Poverty, Legend started his Show Me campaign in 2007. In this campaign, Legend called on his fans to help him in his initiative for residents in Boseso Village, Somalia, and non-profit organizations partnered with the campaign. In early 2008, he began touring with Alexis Ruffin and Professor Jeff Sachs of Columbia University's Earth Institute to promote sustainable development as an achievable goal. Legend joined Sachs as a keynote speaker and performer at the inaugural Millennium Campus Conference. Legend then joined the Board of Advisors of the Millennium Campus Network, MCN, and has aided MCN programs through online support and funding fellowships for MCN summer interns through the Show Me campaign. In 2009, Legend gave Aid Service Center NYC permission to remix his song If You're Out There to create a music video promoting HIV AIDS awareness and testing. On January 22, 2010, he performed Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child on the Hope for Haiti Now Telethon show. On September 8, 2010, John Legend joined the National Board of Teach for America. Legend also sits on the boards of the Education Equality Project, the Harlem Village Academies, and Stand for Children. He serves on the Harlem Village Academies National Leadership Board. On September 9, 2010, he performed Coming Home on the Colbert Report as a tribute song for the end of combat operations in Iraq, and for the active troops and the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. In 2011, he contributed the track Love I've Never Known to the Red Hot organization's most recent album Red Hot Plus Rio 2. The album is a follow-up to the 1996 Red Hot Plus Rio. Proceeds from the album's sales were donated to raise awareness and money to fight AIDS HIV and related health and social issues. On March 6, 2012, John Legend was appointed by the World Economic Forum to the Forum of Young Global Leaders. Later that year, Legend stopped by Children's Hospital Los Angeles for a surprise visit and acoustic performance as a part of Get Well Soon Tour. On June 1, 2013, Legend performed at Gucci's global concert event in London whose campaign, Chime for Change, 
aims to raise awareness of women's issues in education, health and justice, at a press conference before his performance. Legend identified himself as a feminist saying, all men should be feminists. If men care about women's rights, the world will be a better place. In 2014, Legend founded the Free America Campaign, which aims to help reform incarceration in the United States. He also supported the 2018 ballot initiative to pass Florida Amendment 4, which restored the voting rights of Floridians with felony convictions. In 2016, Legend co-signed a letter to the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon calling for a more humane drug policy, along with people such as Richard Branson, Jane Fonda, and George Schultz. The following year, Legend appeared on Salem State University's Speaker Series and was recognized by Voices Against Injustice, formerly known as the Salem Award Foundation for Human Rights and Social Justice, as the inaugural Salem Advocate for Social Justice. Also in 2017 Legend donated $500,000 to Springfield City School District to renovate an auditorium, which is named in his honor. Within the Springfield Center of Innovation, he performed at the John Legend Theater on October 9, 2016. In 2018, he starred in an animated virtual reality short film written and directed by Eric Darnell, titled Crow, The Legend, together with Oprah Winfrey, telling a Native American origin tale. He also sits on the advisory board and is a financial supporter of Fuse Corps, mitigating racial inequality and breaking down barriers which contribute to racism. Personal life legend met model Chrissy Teigen in 2006 while filming the music video for his song, Stereo. They became engaged in December 2011 and were married on September 14, 2013, in Como, Italy. His 2013 song, All of Me is dedicated to her. The couple has four children, a daughter born in April 2016, a son born in May 2018, and a daughter born in January 2023. Their first three children were all conceived via in vitro fertilization. On June 28, 2023, Tegan announced on social media that the couple had a fourth child, a son, born via surrogacy on June 19, 2023. In 2020, the couple was expecting a third child but Tegan lost the baby at 20 weeks due to a pregnancy complication. The pregnancy loss was described by media as a late miscarriage. In 2022, Tegan clarified that the loss was an abortion to save my life for a baby that had absolutely no chance. On the PBS series Finding Your Roots, it was determined that Legend's genetic makeup is 64% African, 32% European, and 4% Native American. In April 2024, Legend said he would campaign for President Joe Biden again.